What's up my D&D family? Today I want to do a unique support style. Someone who focuses on teleporting your teammates around and our focus is on a really high amount of team mobility. This is the team teleporter. In order to pull this build off, I need to go Spring Aladrin. Spring Aladrin is a, an essential part of this package. Our proficiency times a day, we can touch a teammate and teleport them as if they had Misty Step. This is perfect for this theme and is basically an essential lineage for us to play. The second portion of this package is two levels into the Wildfire Druid. This gives us the Wildfire Spirit who can use its action to teleport teammates around. This is great for action economy and it's great for that team teleportation. And think about how small that package is. Spring Aladrin, two into Wildfire Druid, and we are already really, really set to be team teleporters. We take care of the majority of team combat mobility with just those two levels. Pretty efficient. But past that, we're going to be going into Conjuration Wizard for the rest. This is going to continue that theme as well as open up some other opportunities for us, but we'll get into those later. For now, let's talk about the stats. Intelligence is our primary. Constitution is our secondary. Dexterity is our tertiary. But we need to make sure we have at least 13 wisdom to multi-class outside of Druid. So by having this multi-class, our AC is naturally going to to be lower, but druids give us plus two to AC by giving us a shield as equipment. So now we can do mage armor, which is going to be 13 plus our dexterity, and then we get to add two on top of that. So overall, our AC is fairly decent, especially for someone with druid in the mix. We go into wizard because at wizard three or our level five, we get vortex warp. Vortex Warp is a powerhouse team mobility spell, allowing us to take any ally within 90 feet of us and put them anywhere within 90 feet of us. On top of that, by being a Conjuration Wizard at level 6, we get benign teleportation. This allows us to either teleport ourselves or to swap places with a teammate, and then we can restore that feature every time we cast a Conjuration spell, which includes every single one of our teleports. So now we can be teleporting everyone around all the freaking time. We have a ton of teleports. This is fantastic for making sure our allies are where they need to be and for keeping them out of danger. We are excellent at protecting our team. The core of our teleportation begins with our short teleports. These are our combat teleports. Wildfire Spirit, Phase Step, Benign Teleportation, and Vortex Warp really represent the short range teleports, but we're also going to get Dimension Door, which represents our medium range to teleport. And then our long range teleport, we get Teleportation, so we can literally teleport our teammates from any range. So what's really interesting about this build is how non-committal the package is. We can do so many things from this point. We're not using our concentration so we can do all sorts of things. We might take a level in order domain cleric. So when we vortex warp our rogue somewhere, we vortex them in a place where they can have a sneak attack, then they can take their opportunity sneak attack right away. We might just say, hey, we're a wizard already. Let's take the broken wizard spells and just be a broken wizard on top of having a ton of team teleportation. Perfectly viable. Really, the sky's the limit here. There's so much flexibility after taking this core package. So by being a teleporter, hey, our teammates in danger, we can teleport them out. Out. Reactionary. Okay, I wanted to expand what we can do as our reactionary playstyle. So things like Dispel Magic and Counterspell are fantastic. So now they create a summon, Dispel Magic, just delete it. They're casting a really dangerous spell, Counterspell, get rid of it. I want to open up the amount of situations we have a reactionary answer to. And I don't mean using our reaction per se, I mean they do something and in response we have an answer. Because we are using our concentration very little with this build, Greater Invisibility is actually a really fantastic spell. We just disappear from the battlefield and now we can just maneuver teammates wherever we need, counterspell that, dispel magic that. We can absolutely affect the battlefield in a massive way and never even be seen. Whenever we have nothing to do, advantage firebolt. Easy. Another idea I liked working with here is using a shadow spawn or using summons in general, but let's start with shadow spawn. Shadow spawn can give out the fear condition and then we can teleport them into specific spots so the enemies can't move in that direction. So we can kind of corral them in specific situations and put them between a rock and a hard place. Place. Furthermore, if we're summoning the Despair Shadow Spawn, we can put the Despair Shadow Spawn near any enemy we want, but we want to restrict their movement. It takes away 20 movement speed from them, and so we can basically put them down to a very low amount of movement speed within 90 feet of us, so we can teleport our summons around, and that can create some awesome synergies. What's really cool with this is we're a Conjuration Wizard. If we're going deeper into Conjuration Wizard, all of our summons are getting buffed anyways, so it just fits like a glove, and I like how all the build comes together. I think this sounds like a really fun wizard to play, being able to manipulate the battlefield, respond to situations, you would be the anchor for your team. You wouldn't be the one who's shining, doing a ton of damage in combat, but yet you would be essential. You'd be the spine of the group. My question for you guys today is what is the most epic moment you ever had while playing D&D? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to show support to the channel as well as get some awesome benefits along the way, consider checking out our Patreon. But with that, my friends, I hope you have yourselves an incredible day and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.